guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 18 of Sentence of a Bookworm, BTW. I am cleaning as of, like, the recording of this video and stuff, so yeah, there's stuff in my bed, just don't worry about it. I've been cleaning ever since I finished one of my shows, and I was like, fuck it, I just want to clean my room, you know? But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 18 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, that moment was so emotional. Yeah, after making that pizza, I mean, whoever the hell ate that, like, I mean... Who was that? <laughs> what is that ass? Uh. See, I wonder if three does come to the parents again. I still want pizza now. I mean, you know what? Last week I wanted pizza, and this week I want pizza again. Like, oh my god. Oh, so that's where it is. But why is there a... Yeah. Isn't that a little unfair, though? Does anything get clean in here? Oh. Oh my god, look how skinny these kids are. Jesus Christ. Christ, are you serious? Oh my god. Oh, mine! No, Gil, it's okay. You couldn't even know.
Excuse me. Of course, but Those kids don't even know when their next meal could possibly be. I can't even imagine life down there. That it, It's hell for them. Not to know where your next meal is. Anything. But you can still give them food, right? That can still help them. I know it's not, it's not much. And plus, it's dirty in there. That's not... I can't. But then what can mine do? There's got to be something else that she can do. What would really make her feel her better is to help those kids. Cody! I wouldn't even be able to read or do anything after that.
That's different. Can you do that? You're right about that, though. They're going to need clothes and food and fire, um, blankets. You take it one step at a time. Don't stress yourself. Perfect. And they get to work and they'll be able to eat. You got this. Which would be you. Got it. Don't worry about that. You'll do fine. Cody. Yeah, I hate to say that. <laughs> we all knew it was going to happen. <laughs> You don't know what mine can put when she thinks about it. You never know what she can do. Yeah, you gotta kind of be a little sneaky about this. You can't really tell the head priest or anyone everything that you freaking do. Sometimes you gotta keep it on the down low. That too. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's politics and you know, plot and niche like that, but that's the way the world works. Sometimes you gotta blackmail someone just to get what you want. <laughs> mm. 
nice mask. <laughs> I have a good feeling about this. I really do. <laughs> Cody. Let me open it with a ring. Interesting. Is mine gonna get one of those rings up? Okay. Um, probably. Yes and no. Good question. She'll do anything that she has to, no matter what. Seriously? Yeah. 
for certain reasons like what? See, this is why they need to do a freaking backstory, flashback-ish, on him, because there's so many unanswered questions about him. Thank you, God. Thank you. I mean, uh, God, it, it just reminds me of, you know how when it's late at night and you're watching TV and a commercial comes on and it shows kids or it shows animals and it has the music and it's really sad and to see an animal or a kid whoever in pain and not being able to have food because sometimes they don't even know when their next meal is and that's what truly get all about like even though and i hate seeing those commercials like dead ass like anytime when i am watching tv and i see it i have to turn the channel until it's over and then come back and it's still one of the saddest things i've never truly seen a child um unless it's the tv commercial where it's like kids are struggling for the next food, but it is sad. And I'm happy for those kids that they're going to be able to have a better life because at the beginning of this episode, like that moment, just seeing those kids being, you know, so skinny and still not knowing where their next meal is. Like I was really close to turning this off and just wanting to cry for a couple of minutes because my God, like that hurt my heart so, so much. I, I would never want to wish that on anybody. It's just, oh, that's something that the, the the church has been hiding. And it's sad that they hide that because I think if people knew, oh, but I'm happy that they're letting the kids get a really good chance because of mine. Honestly, they made me hungry for bread, too, so maybe I'll make, like, a sandwich or something, because I am hungry. I haven't eaten since, like, several hours ago. I had a plant-based hamburger, which was really good, and just... But, yeah, this episode was really sweet, heartwarming, and fuck, and sad as fuck, and really, really just the tension of it. Like, oh my god, I wasn't expecting some, some moments, especially with the kids, because, I mean, for a lot of people, kids are triggering... And seeing kids in a really sad and upsetting moment, it just, it makes you feel a certain type of way. And even though I didn't show it by crying or anything, like, deep down in my heart, I felt that. And I just, God, I don't want to feel like that again because kids are so precious in this world and they deserve everything. And nothing bad should ever really happen to a child, whether it's in real life, in a show, anime, anything. It's just... Like I said, they're precious as fuck. But this was a really good episode. And I honestly cannot wait to see these kids look happy and healthy and in some new clothes and not having to worry about where their next meal is coming from. But we ain't gonna know until next Saturday. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view to episode 18 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 19. Bye guys!